What time is it, Kendall? It's, it's a little after five. At no, night? I have no in the morning. I haven't waken up for a really long time. First time it's been up before ten and like That's bullshit, man. That's oh. bullshit. Lifelong friends and professional motorcycle riders Kendall Norman and Quinn Cody are about to begin an exhausting 12-day, 2,800-mile journey through the toughest terrain of Baja, California. This epic adventure into the unknown will either strengthen or destroy their friendship. Yeah! We're in Mexico! Oh, 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 oh. We're about to live in this set of gear for the next 14 days. <laughs> One pair of goggles with a spare lens in case it gets dark. Plus a set of trunks. And a, I got sandals and a t-shirt. Just making sure we have everything we need because once we leave, there's no turning back. Buenos dias! <laughs> Yee. Okay, so we're here in uh, Baja, California, Mexico. It's day one of our uh, of our ride. Um, we're here just south of Ensenada at a place called, uh, just outside of San Tomas at a little shop called Alcambrio. Our buddy Juan owns this place. Juan! Hey, it's Quinn and Kendall. Hey, como estas? Hey, como estas, Juan? Muy bien. Ah, y tu? Hey, perfectamente bien. Every day is different. Holiday. Every day is a fucking holiday. <laughs> you know, when we first came down and did this ride, we uh, worked a deal out with him where he was able to watch uh, my truck for the 12 days that we were out riding. Well, my name is Juan, Juan Villarreal, and my business, the name is Acambaro. Ever since then, we've been coming here and stopping by and saying hi, and we've been, you know, established a good relationship with the dude ever since. He's got a photo with uh, me, his two kids, and, uh, the king, Jamie McGrath. <laughs> Every day is, is a, a fucking holiday. holiday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And don't just forget, <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> we are the ones you thought you owned. We are the ones you said it's on. Time to do this. We are the ones that you wish would go away. We're here to stay. Yeah, we are the ones that are gonna run the world someday. Today, I, I, we're just kind of cruising along the Pacific. It's gonna be, you know, nice and cool for the most part. Just roads, a little bit of single track. We're gonna go explore some stuff that we've never done before, and uh, it's gonna get a little tricky this afternoon. Just uh, probably around dark. We tried what we were going to try to do today last year and uh, yeah. we came up short last year so hopefully we're going to have a little different results but uh, still venturing into the unknown which really makes things a lot more interesting. At shipwrecks, less than 50 miles into their 12 day adventure, Quinn's brand new untested bike encounters its first problem. He comes down here with a motorcycle that he's never there ridden. There we go, there we go. He's never ridden. He didn't even take it out for like a 20 mile trail ride which leads to the rear brake having some kind of weird mystery issues. We have issues all the time, every time we come down here. And now the guy installs the old rectifier regulator and burnt it out already. So now his battery is not charging, his lights aren't gonna work. Just in, just in case I bring an extra one. This was the one that's supposed to be on the bike actually. <laughs> All the way up there, shot the... I stuck my new rectifier on there, so hopefully this will solve the problem and um, you know we'll be okay in the dark tonight.
go to some really cool places. Uh, coastline, Pacific Coastline is gonna be epic. San Quentin Fishing Village, and uh, even gonna make our way into a little place called San Carlos, a little windsurfing destination slash fish camp slash collect decor rocks and. I don't know, and then we'll make our way to Catavina, which is like personally one of my favorite hotels, places on the Baja Peninsula with the best margaritas ever. Uh, a Corona Baja Fog, pretty much the original. What we do is we take a fresh Corona, Corona, take the top off, and fill it with tequila. This is a Reposada tequila, very good quality. So we'll start with our dispenser, and then we'll run it right to there. This is making me so happy. I know. <laughs> Looks like a six pack for us, huh? <laughs> oh, look at them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My name's Kevin Trejo, and uh, the head sweeper here at Solo Sports, Punta San Carlos, and uh, that's where we are. Just a cool spot to hang out. You can see it. The location is like California 200 years ago. Yeah, yeah, We get a little bit of everything, you know, fishermen, windsurfers, kite boarders. Stand-up paddling's pretty big. You know, mountain biking's world-class here. How much longer to go? Uh, I think we got, uh, like, 60, 70 miles, but completely unknown. We've never really been over it before, and so we're gonna be kind of breaking trail and figuring out, <laughs> figuring out where to go. And it's probably gonna get dark. As the sun begins to set, Kendall and Quinn head for the small town of Catavina, where they plan to spend the night. With more than 70 miles to go, a treacherous trail, and a problematic bike could make for a very late night. This is only day one of an exhausting 12-day mission. Tune in next time as the boys continue to chase summer.